Milady? Milady, wake up. Milady, are you alright? Please wake up. Oh, there you are. You fainted just after the dragon tried roasting me alive with that fire breath of his. I was so concerned about you. But it's all right now. The beast is slain, and you are safe. Where is the dragon? Oh, yes. It fell down into that ravine over there as it was dying. Pity, really. Dragon scales make excellent armor, and many other components are... Rather miraculous in medicines and other alchemical pursuits. But it's all right. I was able to rescue you, and that is what is truly important. Now, what do you say I get you out of this lair? Here, take my cloak. You look cold. Hungry, too? I understand. We will make camp after we descend the mountain and get into the forest. I will build you a warm fire and then go hunt some game to cook for you. And then we will begin the journey back to your kingdom. Your father is very eager to see you home and safe. Who am I? I am Prince Sylvain of Trescovia, the kingdom neighboring yours. I was just arriving to attend a meeting with your father about an alliance between our kingdoms, and then the dragon attacked. When it was discovered that not only did the dragon take everything in the treasury, but you as well. I volunteered to go forth and rescue you. There were knights with me, but they did not survive the battle. Me? Through cleverness and luck alone was I victorious over the beast. I'll recount the entire tale to you another time. Right now, I just want to get you out of this cave and get you taken care of. You've been through quite the ordeal. Come on. My horse is outside. You can ride and I will walk beside. Don't worry. Everything is going to be all right now. I won't let a thing happen to you on my life and my honor as a prince. I will protect you. And your honor, I swear. <laughs> Come on. The slayer gives me the creeps. The treasure? I will send men back to retrieve it later. I'm more concerned about you at the moment. Here we are. Hello, Luna Bell, my most trusted lady. I need you to carry the lovely princess now. I know you'll be fast friends. Hmm? Oh, yes, she's very friendly. You can let her smell you if you wish it, but I promise you, she's the sweetest mare in the world. Except in war. 
But she knows when it's time for fierceness and when it is not. She also adores scritches behind her ears. Just so you know. <laughs> now, up you go. Better? I have to say, you impressed me. You didn't even look away or flinch when I cleaned the deer I brought back. A most refreshing change from those princesses I encounter. You are strong. Most ladies of royal blood would have cracked after dealing with all you have. But I can see a steeled resolve in your eyes. You refuse to be broken. You refuse to crumble. I like that. I like that a lot. You will be an amazing queen. The dragon? Hmm. Let's wait to discuss the dragon until we get back to your kingdom. I would like to take a bit of time to grieve the loss of the brave knights. Without them, I am not so sure I could have claimed victory. We worked together for that win. Thank you for understanding. After your experience, it is very kind and compassionate of you to consider me. Though I am not shocked, your father tells me that you usually are the type to think about others before yourself. Your heart is one of the truly rare and very beautiful. The most precious of all treasures that should always be protected. Why would your father tell me that? Well... Part of the alliance we talked about was the possibility of us uniting our kingdoms permanently via marriage between you and I. I vow to you, I shall not place you in a situation where you have no choice. I fully intend to court you for a period of time and let you decide after that if you wish to marry me. Will I still let the Alliance go through if you do not? Of course. It won't be as easy to push through, but it's still very doable, and it's worth it. For the benefits that will be seen to both of our kingdoms. Anyway, tell me more about yourself. And please, do not hesitate to ask me questions about me as well. I will do my very best to answer anything you have. I have an idea, actually. Let's play a game. You confess something of your choice about yourself. And then 
I will do so as well. Oh, really? You practice fencing with the captain of the guard behind your father's back? How very bold of you to just tell me that. Do not worry, I might tell your father. You can tell I am not a snitch, huh? <laughs> I could tell I was going to like you. Alright, my turn to confess something then. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, here's a good one. You can even spread this embarrassing number around if I ever snitch on you. Ah. Uh, I was afraid of the water until I was 13. My 10-year-old brother actually helped me get over that. Yeah. I was taught to swim by my 10-year-old younger brother. All right, all right, I suppose that is pretty funny. But anyway, your turn. Doesn't have to be anything embarrassing, just something about you, anything at all. You hate the snow. <laughs> Me too. Um my turn. I enjoy putting on peasant clothes and going down to the local tavern to have a drink with the farmers who talk one-on-one -on -one with them about everything going on in their lives. My father would be furious if he knew that. A prince does not mingle so very closely with peasants. It's simply not done, as he would say. But I believe, as their future king, taking care of them, listening to them, understanding them, it is my duty. What? You mean you do the exact same thing? Well, well, are we just birds of a feather? Don't worry, I won't snitch on you if you don't snitch on me. Alright, it's your turn now. No, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. It is your turn. Really? You like to study science, do you? <laughs> Very nice. I do like an intelligent woman. Intellect will serve you well when you ascend your father's throne one day. My turn. Let's see. Well, here are a, a couple standard getting to know you things. My favorite color is gold or ruby red. I find myself drawn to jewel tones, mostly. But anyway, my favorite food is roasted chicken with roasted potatoes and onions. I actually prefer cats to dogs, but I do like dogs, don't get me wrong on that. Um, and I do not hunt for fun. I am of the mind that killing an animal, if you are not hungry or in danger, is just cruel and unnecessary.
You like that I think that way, huh? Well, thank you. It's nice to hear that for a change. Most people think I'm barking mad when I say that. I think in many of the ways that I am unorthodox from other princes, I might look very bizarre and radical. But I don't care. I think the majority of the attitude most princes are encouraged to have is rather antiquated and serves no greater purpose. So I choose to just be me and do what I want. Not what I am told I must do or be. <laughs> you like this about me. Well, thank you. I like a great many things about you, too. But anyway, it's getting late, and we should get some sleep. <sighs> We'll resume our journey at first light. Good night, milady. Sweet dreams.